All right, well, I hope this video helps everybody. Um, I have decided to do some upgrades on my Vulcan V12 engine. I know there's some videos out there from Josh, uh, Vulcan Tech Vault, and he's got some really good videos on how to change out the QEV, uh, which replaces the second banjo, uh, which controls the poppet, um, and then the uh, nozzle. Uh, and I've chosen to go with the gold one. The one reason I'm really making this video tonight is um, I want to talk about the uh, macro line, airline on the V12. So when I got mine, I've used it a couple of times, and because of the field that I play at, I tend to be in the trenches a lot and in a prone position. And I've actually pinched this line and had to cut it back because of air leaks. So I want to replace this rigid line. What I found is that it, you can replace it with the Amped uh, Polar Star uh, Grip Line, so the P-I-G-L. And you can get this from Amped directly or I purchased mine from e-bike. Um, and you want to make sure that you get the one that fits the Fusion version tw 2 engine. Uh, that's the only one that's going to fit uh, perfectly with the uh, V12. Another thing that you'll have to do um, when you're all done is your pistol grip. You're going to need to um, just large and uh, increase the diameter of that hole. And to do that, um, I found that a drill bit, the 5 30 seconds, uh, will uh, increase that hole just large enough so that line fits through with no problems. So what I'd like to do is I'd like to walk through the steps of getting the line changed out. Um, I had some, a couple difficulties. I couldn't find any videos online. So I'm hoping this helps uh, anybody else that uh, has any questions about this. So let's get started. So um, to get the chassis open, uh, you're gonna want a number two um, hex. Um, that'll fit for the chassis. Uh, for the QEV, um, I have a one, uh, one and one sixteenth key, and then uh, for the changing out the QEV, uh, I'm also going to need a quarter inch flat tip uh, screwdriver uh, to take out the uh, um, original banjo that's in here, and then you'll want some um, uh, grease, uh, grease uh, lubrication for your nozzle. Uh, if you're doing that also, uh, make sure it's not oil. You want to use the proper lubrication for that. So let's go ahead and get started. Um, I will take this apart. Oh, and I forgot to mention this, this ratchet will come with your airline, your new airline, um, to, to tighten that one down. So I'll probably, uh, speed through a lot of this when I edit the video so you guys don't have to sit here and watch me do this. I forgot to take the plastic piece off the front. And then we're going to go ahead and remove the engine from the housing completely. When you do this, uh, make sure you pay attention to your lines. The one on the left hand side goes to the rear or the bottom one. And the one on the right will go into the top or the right one as you look at it. Okay. So now we got to take the airline off. Here's where I kind of struggle and I'm kind of mad at myself because it's actually really easy. It's just like on your quick release, you have a black ring right here. You're going to pull in on that ring and then your line should pop right out with no problem. Then you have to remove this um, housing from, from the body of it. I'm going to actually unscrew these lines first get them out of the way and this second 
um, banjo right here, the one I'm going to do in right now is the one I'm also going to replace with that new QEV upgrade. So now that I have that out, I'm going to grab my hex and it just goes right down in there and if you turn, it should start coming right out. What you're going to want to do is grab your new line. It's already got the Teflon on here, so you won't have to worry about that. And you go and line it up. And one thing that I noticed is everybody talks about screwing the opposite direction, turning the opposite direction to get the threads lined up. You don't want to cross thread this. And then start turning it. Once it gets hand tight, and you get grab the wrench that it came with. Over tighten it. Okay. And that's it. That's your new line. It will fit in this housing with no problems, and I'll show you that as I get everything else back together. So the next thing I'm going to go ahead and change while I have this apart is I'm going to go ahead and put in my new nozzle. So all you have to do is unscrew this. Okay. You're going to go ahead and pop the spring out. And then pop out the nozzle that comes with it. This is just your black nozzle. Set that aside. Get your grease. And then you don't want to overdo it. You just want a nice, fine layer on here. You can look look at your nozzle here. You might, if you haven't done any maintenance on it in a while, you might want to go ahead and put a little grease on this as well. And you just pop this back into place. Pop your spring back in, and then you are just going to tighten this, hand tighten this back on. And then just get a rag, go ahead and wipe off some of the excess. And again, this is just going to be hand tight. You don't want to over tighten this. Then you take the your original banjo and you want to go ahead and turn the threads counterclockwise just to get them relined up and then go ahead and put those back on and again this is just going to be hand tight you don't want to over tighten this all right now for the last upgrade now again uh, there's a really good video online from Josh uh, Vulcan Tech, or excuse me, Vulcan Tech Vault um, on how to put this new piece on. And I'm going to go ahead and follow uh, the instructions that he shows. And that is to go ahead and put this on first. And again, you're going to turn the threads counterclockwise just to get them going. Get them lined up. Go ahead and put that on. Just snug it on. Okay. Okay. Now, this is where you're going to need a black marker. So what you want to do, because we're going to have to cut this line, is if you just put this line up against here and you get yourself a nice straight line on there, OK? 
Okay. And you get yourself a cutting surface, get a, a nice sharp blade. And we're gonna get just nice, we want the straightest cut we can get. And now, go ahead and push that on. might need a pair of needle nose just to kind of help get it all the way on there you want to push it on all the way so you get a good seal all right i'm just going to make sure it's just snug nothing's loose got that so there's the three upgrades that I wanted to put on here. Now we just need to put it back in to the housing. Make sure those are all the way in. Okay. New airline in, in place. Housing back on. Put the plastic front part back on your housing. And that's it. We're done. And I'll get the tank and airline and we'll test fire it really quick. Just want to show you too that again line goes in there just fine there's no problem whatsoever so make sure i got all that hooked up okay now we'll put the new airline on everything's working great I'll put it back on my gun and test fire it tomorrow I hope again I hope the video helps at least with getting that um, uh, PIGL line in um, again I want to stress uh, to make sure you get the fusion version 2 line you don't want the one for the jack that won't work and you, again, I bought mine from eBike, but you can buy it directly from Ant. It's the same price no matter where you get it from. All right, thanks for watching.